The ultimate something has to give game. Liberty North averaging 43 points a game. Lee Summit North giving up only nine points a game. And neither team has a local loss on the resume until this weekend. Use different terminology. Here's Howes, the shifty one. Tanner Howes breaking free. Tanner Howes down the sideline. The little guy going to take it to the house. Van Dyne hit as he throws. Finding his man, Justice Brayton breaking free. Ten, five, he's in for the touchdown. The H-back. That's just the start. This game lives up to the hype and more. Back and forth between Liberty North and Lee Sutton North. Eagles jump out to a 10-0 lead, but an ankle-breaking 34-yard score by freshman Isaiah Mosley on fourth down put the Broncos back in it. Then it's the legs of quarterback Trey Baker giving Lee Sutton North the lead halfway through the third quarter. However, the Eagles flew high on the back of running back Caden Arzola as the senior tasted the sweet nectar of the end zone four times. Liberty North wins a thriller, 38 to 35. As for the Blue Jays, Liberty traveling to Park Hill in a battle of four win teams. First drive of the game, Tyler Linninger to Caden Dennis on his head. Grown man catch sends the Togas into action. Here they come. Then the red zone, well, that's where running back Wintrip Williams the third runs toughest. Senior scored from nine yards out. Then he punches it in again on fourth and goal as the Blue Jays beat the Trojans 35-32. Let's go. Let's go. Right, let's go. One, two, three. One, two, three. The boys are fired up for Blue Valley North and unbeaten Blue Valley Northwest. Husky senior quarterback Mikey Paula finds Nick Cusick walking into the end zone untouched. Mom always likes a clean jersey. Northwest takes the early lead. Then in the second, Northwest looking to punch it in once more. This time, Polly with the wheels for a QB keeper. Northwest solidifies its place as the top team in Kansas. 35 21 victory. As for the other Blue Valley power, Tigers eyeing a fifth straight win at Bishop Miege. But it's the Stags looking to upset the Tigers in front of their home crowd to the second half. This is Jalen Birch pounding the rock, shaking a couple defenders, accelerating into the end zone. Miege up 28-17, but no lead is safe against the Tigers. In the fourth, quarterback Grayson Holder powers through. As Blue Valley comes back to win 31-28. Back in Missouri. I want you to remember, this is our house. This is our house. Do your job, play for each other, and let's play for those who came before us. One, two, three, hold on! Odessa coach Mark Thomas gets the Bulldogs fired up for homecoming against center. But the Yellow Jackets come off the bus fighting. Ja'Cory Love races 71 yards to give center a quick 6-0 lead. Then Odessa responds. Blake Heitman runs hard for 32 yards in the Dogs' first play from scrimmage. That sets up a score at 7-6. Center trying to answer right back, but Joseph Vick gets picked off by Boston Sanders, who sees Marianne walking away right into the red zone. Sean Batter would finish the job with a touchdown run. Home team up eight. With the first quarter fireworks far from done, Vick would find Armand Russell for a 67-yard touchdown. This was a wild one. Odessa wins 42-41. Undefeated Park Hill South paying a visit to Northtown for a defensive showdown. That's Evan Winter with Panther stop. Then look at Lucas Otker. Somehow stays on his feet because the laws of, fit of gravity do not apply to high school football. Then in the Panther passing game, Nathan Rico throws it right into your living room to Hayden Klein for the big gainer. Panthers hold strong to win 7 to nothing. the final score. Olathe West at Mill Valley. Jack's coming off their first loss in more than a year, but Hayden Jay dropping dimes. Then look at running back Reese Kennedy breaking two tackles at the same time because this dude built different. New Valley wins 47-32. St. James Academy facing off against Blue Valley Southwest. And folks, I'll be honest, I have no idea what happened here. Somehow Jackson House emerges from the pile and takes it to the house. St. James wins 42-13. We'll be right back. Oh my, what a defensive breakdown. House breaks it down.